The first test in the fight science lab will determine if a martial artist can really strike with the speed of a snake. It's Serpent versus Kung Fu Fighter. The team of experts include biomechanical engineer Dr. Cindy Burr. I'll be able to actually track that finger. Sports physiologist David Sandler and martial arts experts James Liu and Craig Reed. And the martial artist is Li Jing. This Beijing native won numerous national wushu championships in China before moving to the United States. Sudo, speed. Her specialty is speed. the snake. Snake-style Kung Fu focuses on attacking vulnerable vital areas, like the eyes, groin, and joints, for maximum debilitation. Li Jing's reptilian rival is this albino western diamondback rattlesnake. Diamondback rattlesnakes have extremely toxic venom. They're responsible for more human fatalities than any other snake in the United States. For this reason, the snake handlers insist on a mandatory safety meeting. We have a hot snake on set, which means it's venomous. It's not a toy, it's not play-like, it's the real deal. The best thing we do is to remain calm and just act professional and we'll be fine. Coming out, guys. For a snake, speed is truly the, of utmost importance to them for survival. They have to be able to strike and get back into a defensive position right away because if they strike and stay in the strike position, they are now vulnerable. Watch, 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 watch. He's sporty right now. He's pissed. So we're going to give our snake a target. We're going to give the rattlesnake a red balloon to strike. And we're going to use our high-speed video equipment to actually track how fast the snake was able to strike the balloon. If the snake sees the balloon as a threat, it will strike. The snake hits it with blinding speed, but our high-speed video analysis allows us to break down each millisecond of this lethal attack. We were filming the snake at a thousand frames per second, so we could really slow it down and look at its motion. To reach the balloon, the snake travels 4.65 inches in 29.5 milliseconds. So this albino rattler struck at over 13 feet per second. So, Lei Jing, what do you think? Do you think you can go that fast with your strikes? I'll try. <laughs> You'll try? Try my best. Li Jing's target will be this life-sized polyurethane head form. So, Li Jing, we're going to target the eyes, but we're going to make it a little difficult on you. The head form is actually going to move. To simulate a live opponent, the head will bob and weave. A dot is placed on Li Jing's finger to assist the motion tracking analysis. Can she possibly strike as fast as the deadly reptile? Three, two, one, begin. Okay, Li Jing, how hard was that? That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> yeah, they're moving quick. So, Li Jing, this is where you're striking. This is your beginning position. As you can see, you strike right there. Boom. And you're at 4.2 meters per second. So you're just a little bit faster. Wow. You are that the winner. <laughs> nice work. Are you that was great. Me? Yeah. Beat the I snake. beat that snake. Oh, oh he's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> to the naked eye, the snake appears to strike faster than Li Jing. But analysis of the high-speed footage reveals that to reach the head form, Li Jing's hand travels 15.5 inches in 94.7 milliseconds. This equals 13.78 feet per second, proving that Li Jing actually moved almost 5% faster than the snake. And she struck with perfect accuracy. 
So how does Li Jing strike with such precision and velocity? Fight Science Technology takes us inside her body. The key to Li Jing's accuracy is hand-eye coordination and muscle memory. Repeating an action over and over again fortifies neural pathways in the central nervous system, allowing a person to perform this same action without conscious input from the brain. We can indeed mimic the snake, not just the technique, but also its speed. Modern science confirms that a kung fu fighter can master some killer moves from this deadly reptile. <laughs>